Monaco, I, um, uh, I wear a number of hats. Uh, one is as a program director at the University of Manitoba. Uh, that role is to design new programs um, for adult educators, usually in the industry and academic settings. Um, recently, we got a Senate approval for a blended hybrid and online learning credential, which allows instructional designers that know how to create instruction uh, but have the, uh, or do not have the knowledge to create uh, and design instruction for online and blended delivery. So um, that, that credential should be available from the fall this year. Um, also recently in a collaboration with the provincial government, we had created a literacy uh, course and hopefully that would lead into a literacy credential for adult educators. Um, and um, we, we built a number of components into it, not just indigenous culture and knowledge, but also technology and digital literacies within that uh, curriculum as well. So uh, we're excited about it, and um, that's currently ongoing. Uh, in the past, I have been teaching and working in rebuilding this Emerging Technologies for Learning program, um, and that's within the context of my role as uh, a program director at the University of Manitoba. Uh, beyond that, I'm a student, a doctoral student, and I guess that's what brings me here. Diana Bryden is uh, on my advisory committee. Uh, and the reason I give that preamble is because my study um, has a lot to do with technology and how that relates to education and culture. So all these three mixes, all these three components of mixes quite nicely and uh, seems to be an area that I really would want to uh, study more. Um, Two things have happened lately. Um, one is uh, that within my department, I'm beginning to uh, understand the, the impact of mobile learning um, uh, in the context of adult education. Um, and uh, mobile learning from two perspectives, not just from the use of mobile devices for learning. We all, we all learn as we read stuff from this, but also from the fact that we, uh, ha we move, we traditionally move. And in the process of mobility, we learn. Um, and that's mobility from a certain place, a fixed place that we are. And perhaps that's where the transcultural transliteracies come into the picture um, within a globalized context. So all of these various concepts and um, areas make uh, this area of study that I'm looking at quite interesting uh, for me. <laughs>